Well, I did it again and I can't wait to share what I found. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and about once a month, three to four weeks, it really just depends whenever I go, but I go at least once a month to the Dollar Tree and I like to share with you guys what I find because I love watching Dollar Tree hauls and seeing what goodies people find and hearing what they're using them for because it definitely helps make my list a little longer. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but regardless, that's what happens. And this trip is all because of my oldest daughter. So she recently turned 16 and she's getting into a few new hobbies. She is very artistic and she likes to just craft, paint, draw, and now she's actually making items, jewelry, and she wants to get into crocheting and all the things. So she asked if we could go check out the Dollar Tree to see what items they would have. So of course I was like, yes. So she came with me and got her own little basket together. So I'm gonna share with you guys her items and then I'll show you guys everything that I picked up. But if you love Dollar Tree, you're definitely gonna to wanna to hit that subscribe button and join our community here because like I said, I do share one at least once a month and they're always on the bigger side because I just go to the Dollar Tree. Sometimes it's two, three Dollar Trees in like a week or two and I just put it all together to share with you guys instead of breaking it apart and doing multiple Dollar Trees. I just like to get it all done and share it with you guys. So it's definitely gonna be on the longer side if you are new because I pick up a ton of stuff every time to share. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna share with you guys what my oldest daughter picked out first. So that footage is gonna be a little bit different because she wanted her stuff right away. So I quickly put it out on our treadmill that's here in the office. Um, so it's kind of more like my grocery haul videos. It's down, you won't see my face, you're just gonna see the items. And she's already working hard on all of her items. And then I like to sit down and chit chat with my haul. So let's go ahead and share with you guys what Paige, my oldest daughter, picked out from the Dollar Tree. All right, so here's Paige's haul really quickly. She picked out two, I think it was two for a dollar, on the poster boards. Or she got two white ones and then all of these little goodies and knickknacks. So she's really getting into crafting and maybe she'll be opening up an Etsy store. She's mentioned that a couple times, but if she does, I'll definitely let you guys know, but she picked up several things as you can see here. She has a fascination with keychains <laughs> of all sorts. I'm not sure if she's actually doing anything with these or if she's just keeping them for you know, cutesy stuff. So these are all Overwatch mini plush hangers and she picked up four different ones. I think these were the four different little plushies that she could find. I don't know if they had any more, but they are all from the game Overwatch. So she got those. She wants to learn how to crochet and we went to Michael's and I think she was just a little overwhelmed. So when we went to the Dollar Tree and saw this, she was like, okay, this is what we will, you know, teach, I'll teach myself how to use, how to crochet just using these things. And then if she likes it, if she gets into it, she'll get more of a stock for creating more things after that. So this is a two piece by Crafter Square of the plastic crochet hooks. They are two different sizes. I don't crochet, so I don't know um, the meaning or any of that, but it's a five millimeter and then a 5.5. .5. And they had a ton of yarn, you guys, like so many different colors. So definitely, if you have a hobby, check Dollar Tree first because comparing the prices between Dollar Tree and Michael's, Dollar Tree definitely for the win for a lot of these items. So she got this brown, tan, grayish. I really don't even know what color that is. Looking at it in the store, it looked brown, but in here, it, more, it looks like a brown gray. And then this light, like seafoam, minty, green, blue color. You like how I describe those colors? <laughs> I'm totally professional. All right, um, a lot of stuff from Crafter Square for sure. She got these pom-poms and a lot of these items she's turning into earrings. That's her, her thing right now is definitely earrings. So she got these pom-poms, there's 60 in there. And then this bag of foam beads, I believe she's putting into these jars like snowflakes. Um, and then maybe tying a little ribbon on, making like Christmas 
themed earrings, so she got those. Craft sticks, I'm not sure what she's using these for, but she picked those up, 60 in there. And then about the container, so she found something like this at Michael's and we had gone to Michael's before the Dollar Tree. So I'm, I think she paid $3.99 and I think it was six of them. $3.99 or $4.99 for this size glass, mini glass containers looks exactly like this. And then we found them at the Dollar Tree. I thought that was amazing. So she picked up several different kinds. This one is still a glass container, but it looks more like a mason jar with the silver twist on lid. So there's five in here. These ones are itty bitty and they have the cork on the top, the cork lid, but super cute. Six in there. She got two of these. Then these ones, there's seven in here. Again, glass containers with the cork lid. She got two of those. And then she only got one of these bigger ones. These might be too heavy for earrings. I'm not sure if she's going to try to turn these earrings into earrings or not. I feel like these would be too heavy, but these are mini glass containers again with the cork lid and there's six in there. All right. She picked up the little fairy garden figurines. These are the little fairies and then she got the animals as well. I don't know if she's turning these into earrings or if she just wanted these for cutesy little things in her room because she didn't pick up two of each of these. I'm not sure. Maybe they didn't have two, but Again, she had her own little basket and was going to town filling it up. She got these beads. There's 360 in here. I like the colors. They're not pastel. They're not neon. They're just like your typical kind of muted tones in there. Those are really pretty. And then she got this pack of alphabet beads and there's 325 in here. Some googly eyes, all sorts of fun colors, 125 in here. Some super glue to help um, make the earrings. She also got this package of erasers. I'm pretty sure she's turning these into earrings as well. There's 12 in here. It looks like two of each one, a rainbow, cactus, unicorn, donut, a ring, and then a butterfly. All right, she got these game dice, there's 10 in here, turning these into earrings, as well as the double six dominoes, there's 28 in here. Also, this set of bath toys, there's three in here. I think she is going to make a set of earrings and then she'll just have an extra one. And then these, she got to make earrings for Rose and Pearl. So these little pet shop figurines. Pearl does have her ears pierced, Rose does not. When we were at Michael's, she picked up all the gadgets, like the hooks and the string and all that that she needed. And she also got some clip-on earring pieces. So Rose can wear some of these earrings as well. But that is Paige's little Dollar Tree craft haul. All right, so those are all the goodies that she picked up. Now I'm gonna share with you guys the goodies that I picked up and I might be pausing a lot. It's 105 degrees outside right now. I think the heat index said it was 113. I need a haircut. My hair is way too long and I need to replace this really pretty light with a fan in here because it's hot. It's so hot. I might be glistening throughout this whole video and messing with my hair to get it away, but well, we're just going to get through it. So I'm actually going to share with you guys. I have a tower of books right here. I mean, seriously, I hardly ever get this lucky in the book department and getting a book for a dollar, you can't beat that. I mean, that is a fantastic deal. So I definitely have enough books to last me a while, but I'm not the only one who loves to read in this house. So I am constantly going to pick up a book if I feel, if I find it from the Dollar Tree and I feel like we would enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get through these books first. All right. So the first store that I went to is if you guys are in the San Antonio area is the bigger one on San Pedro. That's the one that I went to with my daughter Paige. And then the second one is the one in Bernie, which is like a 20 minute drive from San Antonio, depending on where in San Antonio you are. San Antonio is huge. Sometimes it's like an hour and 20 minutes. But from where I'm at, it's about 20, 30-ish minutes to Bernie. And that Dollar Tree, my husband went with me to that one and he found a book for himself. So everything is mixed in. Other than this item, I don't remember which one came from the one in San Antonio and which one came from the one in Bernie. I have them all mixed together. So this is the book that he saw and picked up. 
and it does have a bestseller sticker on the back. An Ender Battle a School Story, A War of Gifts by Orson Scott Card. And it was originally $14.99. So he saw this and he was like, yep, we're getting that. <laughs> all right, and then I will just quickly go through the books because there's quite a bit. They're all, I, I have some cookbooks and then some novels, chapter books. So I got this one, See All the Stars by Kit Frick. This one was originally $18.99. And we love like crime stories and really like the supernatural fantasy type book. So that's kind of a mixture of these. That's what these are. I got this one, which is by Kimberly McCrete, The Scattering. And I think this is a number two, the second book in the Outliers trilogy. trilogy. So this is a set of three books. I'm going to try to find the first one so I can read that one, whether it's on like my Kindle, I can get it a little cheaper or I'll look on Amazon or something, but at least getting one of them for a dollar. That's a good deal. And does it tell me what this originally was? No, I bet it's behind this sticker here. So I don't know what this originally was, but getting it for a dollar, even if it was like $8.99 is still a great deal. All right, this is the next one. It's kind of dark. Can you see that? It says Into the Bright Unknown by Ray Carson. And I bet this price is under this sticker. Oh, it says something about YouTube on the back here. Hold up. Let me try to take this sticker off. Oh, so apparently, oh, $17.99 is the original price. And it is, find us on www.epicreads.com. They also have a Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. I just saw that YouTube sticker or little logo. So I was like, oh, what does that mean? Next up, it is really dark. That's what I get for filming early in the morning before my kids are even awake. It's super dark. I'm sorry. That Kind of Mother by Roman Allum, author of Rich and Pretty, picked that up. And this one was originally $26.99. Next up is The Forgotten Girls by Owen Lucanon. And this one originally $27. Then we got this one, The Trouble with 12th Grade. So I did pick this one up for my oldest daughter. And this one is by Dorinda Jones. I'm not sure if that's how you say her name. And $26.99 is what this book was going for. All right, this is another book I picked up for my oldest. And it is called Autofocus. Sometimes Life Isn't How You Pictured It by Lauren Gibaldi. I feel like this is about a senior as well. Yeah, it's about a senior who likes to take pictures. So we got this one and I don't know the price on that. All right, last chapter novel book and then we're gonna get into some cookbooks. This one is by Kinder, Kinder, Kinder Blake called Ungodly, The Goddess War. I don't know if this is a series, this is a series I'm not sure if this is number one or what, but this originally was $17.99. Okay, and then we have some cookbooks. I love cookbooks. I need to use them more often. I just like seeing cookbooks in the cabinet where I have them. I like opening them and looking at them, but I do tend to go online versus going through my cookbooks. So I need to make a mental note. Look at your cookbooks when you're meal planning and all of that good stuff. So this one is just beautiful. I love the look of it. It's called Near and Far Recipes Inspired by Home and Travel by Heidi Swanson. That is so pretty. I can see the price under this sticker. Let's see. Oh, this is one of those stickers that's not going to be nice. This one is originally $29.99, 30 bucks, and I got it for a dollar. I think that's fantastic. I just love the look at it. It's look of it. It's so pretty. So in here it says known for combining natural food recipes with evocative artful photography. So I will just show you a few in here. But I just I just think that's really really pretty. Then I got this one and this is called the homemade chef ordinary ingredients for extraordinary food more than a hundred pan Latin recipes anyone can make. So I picked that one up and he is, the recipes in this book are inspired by the same dishes I cook at my restaurant and he grew up, so it's Latin cuisine and he grew up in Venezuela. Oh wow, that's really cool. So I'm excited to play around with some of the recipes in here and maybe try some different flavors out on the family. 
So there's just a little, ooh, this book is really heavy, a little glimpse on the inside. And I don't know the price. Oh, yes, I do. This was $30 also. Cookbooks are super expensive, so finding them at the Dollar Tree is definitely a good find. Then I found this one. Now, I do not have it yet. I have a handheld spiralizer, but I want to get an attachment for my KitchenAid, and I, but I don't have it yet, but I saw this book and I just thought it was really interesting. The Spiralized Kitchen, Transform Your Vegetables into Fresh and Surprising Meals. And this is by Leslie Bilderback, author of Mug Cakes. So here's some of her, well that doesn't have any pictures in it. Here's a picture on a recipe. So some of her recipes don't have pictures and some of them do, but can I find the price on this one? $18.99 for this cookbook. All right, and then the last one is An American Girl in London, 120 Nourishing Recipes for Your Family from a Californian. So this is Marissa Hermer, and there's the front there. What is the price on this one? I don't know, it might be under that sticker, but let me show you guys the inside. I mean, beautiful pictures. I am definitely not a photographer when it comes to my food. I am a uh, novice. I just take a picture and share it with you guys. I don't like to set it up or anything. So looking at these pictures, oh, they're beautiful. I love food photography. Those are all the books that I found. Like I said, it's rare that I find that many in one like shopping trip. So I already separated everything else. Oh, and I would love for you guys to tell me, I have a ton of reusable bags that Sometimes I'm good at taking into the store and sometimes I'm bad at, but right now they won't let you take your own bags into the store. I had them in my car and I just took them out and put them in my closet, my little entryway hall closet here, because every time I go to the store and I have my bags, I would see a sign saying, you know, you, you, you're not allowed to bring in your own bags. You have to go out with their bags. So I do have Dollar Tree bags in here, but I do recycle them. I have everything separated, and now I'm gonna share with you guys some randoms that kind of didn't go into a category, really. I found this in the, like, automotive tool aisle, and it is scrub a bug car windshield headlight and grill bug remover, 100% cotton terry, and 100% polyester net, and they are 11 by 11. There's two in here. There's some care instructions how to wash them on the back, but I am about to do a, a deep clean on my car. Even though I don't use it as often as I used to, I mean, it could be like a week and a half before I even leave the house, like in my car. We walk around the neighborhood, check mail, all that good thing, get out of the house, but not out of the neighborhood, and my car just needs a good clean out. So I got a kit. My husband picked out a kit at Costco or Sam's and then I saw these and I was like, all right, I need to get it. I need to get it done. It reminded me, clean your car. Anyway, a long explanation for why I got these, but my car is so dirty and nasty. I need to clean it out. And then the other random item I got were these frog togs. Is it focusing on those cooling chili mini wrap. So I picked up three of these. My husband and I and my daughter Paige used to go hiking like once a month and a half. Um, and we were going to go last weekend. My parents watched the younger three and we were going to go hiking. But again, 105, like, and the heat index is in the hundred and teens. It's ridiculous right now. Way too hot to go hiking or anything like that. But we do have hydration backpacks and all the things, but we didn't have any like these little towels. So I saw these and I was like, that's really cool. So I did go ahead and pick up three of them, one for each of us, and I'm just gonna put them in our little hydration backpacks for the next time that we can get out, go hiking, go down a trail somewhere, something. So I thought these would be nice to have, and for a dollar, I thought that was a great deal. Now we're gonna get into just a few items from the like home decor section. I picked up both sizes of these. I don't know if I'm gonna use them inside or outside. I'm still debating on how I want to decorate my front porch and the back patio. It's kind of just, we're focusing on the inside, but I saw these and I was like, I like them. So this one is tall 
and more on the skinny route and they're both labeled as vases and that's probably what I'm going to use them for is putting whether it be real probably not real flowers or I will poke, poke holes in the bottom if I put real flowers or a fake flowers and this one is shorter and wider so I did pick up both of those not quite sure how I'm gonna use them but I liked the look so I went ahead and grabbed them all right another item they had three different ones of these different sizes and different prints this one was my favorite I almost picked up all three of them but I wasn't really in love with the other two they did look cute together but I just picked up this one so this is just being labeled as decor it is a green briar product and it looks like a little house shadow box with the wallpaper or a printed paper in the back and again I just really loved the style and colors on this one eventually I have a like bin of home decor because eventually I'm gonna get shelves put into if you guys have seen my home tour I'll link it up above and in the description but on in our living room on either side of our fireplace we have a TV on top of the fireplace and then we have these cabinets with just like an indent and eventually I want to get shelves put in there and so I've just been collecting random little knickknacks and cute home decor and that way I can mess around with them and for a buck if I don't end up using this then I will donate it but I really loved it I love the colors it pulls out some of the colors in our living room rug so I really liked that so I did find these two cute calendars for my girls Rose and Pearl. Uh, they didn't have any boy ones, but even if they did, I don't feel like my son would care for this kind of thing. He really likes the calendars that he can mark off on. And we have one of those in our playroom upstairs. So we'll see if he wants his own calendar in his room, I'll try to find something. But I thought these were super cute. I love that it's not just the paper and that you can use this longer than a year because it has the month and then it has the date on here. So. This one is a unicorn. It says magic is all around us. This is gonna go in Rose's room on her desk. And you can see there, it's just the blocks that you turn for the month and then the date. And this one is a llama. So I thought that was super cute. The second I saw them, I was like, oh, I love those. And I think the girls will enjoy turning the numbers every day so they know what day it is. Okay, and then the last piece of home decor, I actually got a fall piece. They had so many fall things out. A lot of them are duplicates or the same thing that they had out last year. But this one, I love the color on it. I have several of these from last year as well, but I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. So this says, welcome fall. I love the green, like the mint green in the background. I think it looks really good with the pumpkins and the leaves and all of that. So. I picked this up and again they had several different ones but this is the one that I know I don't already have and they are patterned on the sides as well. I can't even believe they have fall. I mean I know we're getting towards the end of July, you know August, the school is starting soon, all the fall feels, there's pumpkin spice out in some places already. I cannot even believe that. But again, like it's so hot, I'm not even thinking. Normally, I love to be prepped ahead of time and I would already be thinking about fall and elf on the shelf and all of that, but I can't. It's just too hot and I feel like we haven't even had a real summer yet, but you gotta pick things up when you see them because they're not guaranteed to be there the next time. So I did go ahead and get one fall related item. All right, we are going to switch gears and this bag is full of bath and beauty products and I always say I have a closet full of this but I can't help it I always pick up more because that is definitely my go-to when there's a like a random girl's birthday that pops up or I want to make a little goodie bag for someone bath products are just my go-to for all sorts of reasons and seasons and all of that so I like to stay stocked up plus I found some fun things for my girls okay so one non like fun beauty product went ahead and picked this up this is calamine lotion and it's really for poison ivy oak and it dries out like itchy spots so I picked this up just because summertime hot if we do start going hiking or getting out of the house and exploring different areas if the kids get ant bites or mosquito bites this works great for that as well not just the more severe ones like poison ivy and stuff like that so 
I went ahead and picked this up to have on hand. And then I found several hair items. I love finding hair items at the Dollar Tree for a dollar because my daughter Pearl loves doing her hair and Rose has slowly started doing a few things with her hair. So every time I go into the Dollar Tree, I check out the hair section because you can never have too many hair things. I mean, my girls just love them and they're only gonna get older and I feel like getting more and more into it. So I, if you guys have noticed, if you're not new, I've been wearing a lot of headbands lately. I love them, especially when I have my hair up, which I wear my hair up a lot lately. I rarely keep it down anymore, really just for videos to break it up so you guys don't see me looking like a hot mess all the time. But like I said, my hair is really, really long. I need a haircut so bad. So I love the headbands and I bought a pack of, was it eight? I don't remember how many I have, but I will link the same exact pack that I bought in the description box because they are from Amazon. And my daughter Pearl has been going into my room and she loves them. And I found some very similar at the Dollar Tree. So this is very similar to the ones that I have. They have the little knot on the top, but mine are all solid color. And this one is a tie dye blue and pink. So I really think that she's going to love that and I, she'll be able to keep this in her room. So she has her own little headband stash. And then I saw this one and they had that in several different colors and they had this one in several different colors. I just picked up one of each to see if the girls like them and if they do, maybe the next time I go back, if they have other colors, I'll pick them up. But this one has a little bow tie on the side and it is in this like really light blush pink. I thought that was super cute. So I went ahead and picked that up for her as well. And again, they did have several different colors in them. Got different kinds of ties and elastics and all of that. Like I said, we're all wearing our hair up more often here lately. These ones are really cool and this middle one actually matches that headband. So I thought that would be super cute if she wanted to wear her hair in a ponytail and have a matching elastic and headband. So I picked these ones up. These ones are really, like they're almost made out of legging material. They're super stretchy. There's no like hard piece on there. I feel like these are the type that would not get stuck in your hair. These are by Greenbrier. There's six in there and you can see the different colors there. So two pink, two blue, and then two of the tie dye with the two colors mixed together. All right. And then I saw these and again, I just picked them up because they were different than the regular like ponytail holder elastics that I typically buy. So these are my Greenbrier as well. There are five in here and these are like mini scrunchies. So not like the bigger puffier scrunchies. These ones are mini, but they're still like that scrunchy material and feel. And I really love the colors on here, the blush pink and then the mustard yellow. Now these do have these little hard pieces that kind of hold the material together. I don't know if you can see that, see there. So I don't know if these will get stuck in your hair or not, but I just love the look of them. So we're gonna try them out. And then again, more different types. So this is a name brand. Anytime you can find something for a dollar that's name brand, most of the time that's a better deal than getting this in a other store but this is Remington there's seven yeah seven in here and these say helps prevent dents anywhere hair for hair and wrist decorative hair ties so my daughter Pearl has hair ties everywhere in her hair and she keeps them on her wrist and sometimes I have to get after her because she wears the tighter ones and they leave marks on her wrist so when I saw that this said for your wrist I was like all right I'm gonna pick these up and hopefully these won't leave marks and she can still wear them as bracelets, which is what she enjoys to do. So I did go ahead and pick these up. You can see that they are smaller and they're just all plastic. And then there's you know quite a few different colors in here. And the last one that I picked up, I thought this was interesting. I've never purchased anything like this before. This is name brand, I believe. It looks name brand to me. It says Mia Sport Snap Elastics. There's six in here. No tearing, no damage, easy to remove, rubber bands. They twist on and snap off. And then there's a picture on the back. Twist on like a rubber, regular rubber band and then you just snap it off to remove and it's that simple. Easy to remove, no damaged hair, great for all hair types. So let me go ahead and open this so I can show you guys what that means. Oh, and here's the back. It shows you like a regular hair tie with a hair all stuck on it. That's exactly what 
my hair ties look like when I take them out of my hair and pearls especially because she has super thick and really long hair but those are the pictures on there and then let me just take one of these off so it's got the black they're all black no some of them are white and then it's got some gray and then the white so oh interesting it's not like a magnetic snap like I thought oh are you guys gonna be able to see that can you see that right there so it just like snaps out like that and then snaps back in so I don't know if we're gonna like those but for a dollar they were different I thought we would give them a try two makeup items and these are May brand these are both hard candy so I don't wear a lot of makeup and when I do it's typically very neutral like I'm just trying to accentuate what I have already <laughs> however my oldest daughter Paige loves colors and my younger two which I don't allow them to wear makeup out of the house we don't have to worry about that right now. They have been wearing a lot of makeup lately because we're not going anywhere. They're just in the house. So I saw these and I thought these are really cute colors that my girls would enjoy, whether Paige wants to use them or my younger two, which my younger two, their makeup stays in my bathroom. They're not allowed to have it in their bathroom because it's a mess. I'll show you my drawer one day. It's a hot mess. Um, so Hard Candy, this is Fairy Dust Highlighter. Super cute. It's got a purple, blue, and pink color in there. I like that it's very shimmery so that is a highlighter they might be able to use that as like an eyeshadow as well and then this is hard candy as well called glitterazzi liquid sparkler so i just picked this up because i really like the color blitz number one four five three another name brand that is blowing up at the dollar tree right now is freeman I think you can find this at Target and Walmart, I believe. So I went ahead and picked up the different items that I found. This one, I actually picked up two of these Freeman Beauty Infusion Firming Hydrogel Eye Mask. And it says blue marine algae and peptides instantly hydrates, helps diminish dark cir circles, which is what I need help with, and then reduces puffiness. So I did go ahead and get two of these for me to use and then this one is also beauty infusion do they all say beauty no they don't just the eye mask and then this one this is a purifying in shower mask instantly boosts clarity restores balance and renews skin seek help and probiotics so i thought that was interesting i don't think i've ever picked up anything before that said like in shower mask and like outside of like a hair mask. This is for your face. And let me see, to use, apply to dry face and neck before showering, avoiding contact with eyes and hairline at the end of showering, gently massage to exfoliate and rinse. Use two times a week or as often as needed. Okay, so you put this on before you get in the shower, do your thing, wash your hair, wash your body, and then rub this in and rinse it off at the very end. So I thought that was interesting. I should have probably picked up more of these just to try and let my oldest daughter try, but I did just get one. Because, I mean, we definitely have tons of different kinds of masks and things to try. So here lately, I've only been picking up one of each kind. So these are the three other masks that I found. They did have paper masks. I'm not a huge fan of those. I like the ones that you can peel off, wash off, that kind of thing. Um, I don't enjoy the, the paper ones. So I got these ones again by Freeman. These all say feeling beautiful. So this black one is a polishing charcoal and black sugar gel mask and scrub. Good for all skin types. It says instantly detoxes pores and exfoliates for smooth skin. This one is deep clearing seaweed and sea salt mud mask and scrub. Instantly cleanses and exfoliates for renewed skin. This one is for oily and breakout skin. And then this one is also for oily and breakout skin. This is a deep clearing Manuka honey and tea tree oil clay mask and cleanser. Instantly deep cleans and absorbs oil without over drying. Oh, and then I almost forgot. I should have shared this when I shared this. So they have these little single uses of the in shower mask. And then they have this one. So this is the same exact thing, but you can get more uses out of it. So this is a four ounce purifying, like the same exact thing. The in shower mask that you put on instantly boosts clarity, restores balance, renews skin. And this one says a little bit different. This one says apply to dry or damp face and neck. Leave on for five to 10 minutes, then gently massage to exfoliate and rinse. 
and it may also be used out of the shower. So I did go ahead and get the bigger one as well. That, I mean, this is definitely a bigger bang for your buck, the big one, but when you pick up these single packets, these are great for making little gift bags and stuff like that, or if you have like a guest bathroom and you wanna leave things out, these are perfect for that. So I did wanna go ahead and show you guys the two different options for that. Another name brand hair mask is Garnier Fructis. So I did go ahead and pick this up. And this is a color vibrancy treat. One minute hair mask with goji extract. This is, it says a vegan formula. So I think my oldest daughter is about to dye her hair. If I can get into some kind of hair salon, we'll see. I haven't even tried calling anywhere to make an appointment, but I'm gonna do some color and a cut and a new style. So I thought this would be nice and maybe make our color last longer. Like I said, I think she wants to color her hair as well. So I did go ahead and pick this up and it says, what does it say here? Um, you can use it as a mask. After shampoo, apply onto wet hair, leave on for one minute and then rinse. You can also use this as a conditioner. So after shampoo, apply to hair from root to tip and rinse and then you can leave it on, or you can use it as a leave-in. Apply on damp, damp hair for frizz control and color vibrancy. So I did go ahead and get that. And this is the only one that I saw. I didn't see any other um, types outside of the color vibrancy one. I found some bath bombs. My younger two, Rose and Pearl, love baths and love bath bombs. I don't take them as often as I used to, but I enjoy a good bath with a bomb as well. So these ones are blowing up everywhere. I did happen to find three. Two of them, these ones I remember. This one was in the Bernie Dollar Tree, and then these two were in that bigger one on San Pedro. So this one is Birthday Party, and these are by Onyx Bathhouse. Yes, all of them. This one is called Vanilla Birthday Cake, and it does have sprinkles in it. And these are really, I mean, this is a good size. These are 4.9 ounces. This one is Be Happy Lavender, and this one has, it looks like actual lavender pieces in the top there. Last one I found is Beach Bum, peach and coconut and raspberry. It doesn't look like it has any like random pieces or sparkles or glitter or anything like that in it. It's just the two different colors. Okay guys, I have mentioned a lot how I like to keep little toys and knickknacks on hand. In my closet I have several different bins for different things and if I'm out and about and I see something, I grab it because I have the storage for it. And that is just something that I like to do. So this time at the Dollar Tree, they had a ton of blind bags. So I picked up several of each one and I'm just gonna tuck them in there. They are great for Easter eggs. They are great for stocking stuffers. They are great for just a random rainy day. If you wanna pull a few things out, if your kids are just having a tough day, they're down in the dumps and you want to pull something out and they're like, yay, and it's all good in the world again. <laughs> so I like to have little things on hand. Plus these make great like basket fillers, birthday present fillers, if there's something that comes up. In our neighborhood, it's super cute. We've been doing like drive-bys. Whenever it's somebody's birthday, we have a Facebook neighborhood group and everybody will say, hey, it's my kid's birthday. If you could drive by in like a parade at this time, it's super cute. And sometimes people will leave little baskets and I just like to have stuff on hand. Like, I can't say that enough. I just like to have things on hand and be prepared. And by picking them up ahead of time, it does, at the end of the day, keep me out of the store more often when birthdays pop up. So I got quite a few things. I'm gonna have quite a few blind bags to show you guys, but the non-blind bag items, my girls Rose and Pearl love to paint, so I picked up two of the new, to me, paint kits that I found. These are by The Wood Shop, it says decorate your own, and they did have a llama, they did not have a unicorn, but they did have a cactus, so I actually think Pearl's gonna wanna do the cactus, and Rose will do the llama, or they can do them both together, it really doesn't matter. So I did pick up both of these. now. I love getting these type of things from the Dollar Tree because they are cheaper. However, the paint is definitely a hit or miss. Most of the time, these are dried out. So I always have a stash of paint that I can pull out. And sometimes my girls just don't 
like the colors, they want to use their own color. So I do have different paints that they can use with these, but I thought those are super cute. Holidays, I mean, during the closer we get to Halloween, the toy section just goes crazy with little itty bitty things to, like, to make your own costume and things like that. And I saw this and I just thought that was hilarious. So this is a blade with a headband. So the point is to make it look like the saw knife whatever is in your head and I just know my son Bryce is going to get a kick out of that not actually to wear Halloween if we even have a Halloween trick-or-treating but just for fun so I did go ahead and pick that up to put away and just surprise him with at a later date and I'm pretty sure the rest is all blind bags yeah so if you guys don't know what a blind bag is I feel like I do get one or two questions every time I share a video and talk about blind bags they are bags or balls or boxes that have a mystery toy inside so you're kind of blind to what's inside you have no idea what is in there you have an I a little idea because it has a theme but you don't know exactly which one you're going to get and my kids even though like I feel like every time I go to the Dollar Tree I'm like okay I'm not going to get blind bags for much longer because my kids are getting older. They still love them. Like my oldest daughter, I actually got a few for her as well because she was with me in one of the stores and she's like, yeah, I want some of those too because I might be able to turn them into earrings. So she even likes the blind bags <laughs> and she's 16. It's just, I don't know what it is about them, but they love opening it up and seeing what they get. It's like a little surprise. So anyway, that's what a blind bag is. They had Harry Potter wands and these are backpack buddies or like keychains, whatever. You can stick it on anything and it's just each pack contains one wand. There are eight to collect so you can get Professor Snape, Professor Dumbledore, Harry Potter, Luna Lovegood, Hermione J Granger, Jenny Weasley, or Ron Weasley. And it shows you the wands on the back. So I know my kids are going to get a kick out of these ones because they love the Harry Potter series. And I think I already said it, but I got several of each of these just to tuck away and have. So this one is Assassin's Creed, which is a video game. Did they turn this into a movie as well? I have no idea. But my son Bryce loves all sorts of video games, so I did go ahead and get a few of these to have on hand, just whether it's for him, for stocking stuffer, or a boy's birthday that pops up, or a girl's birthday that pops up that likes this game. For whatever reason, I did go ahead and get a few of these. It says collect them all, and it looks like there's five different characters to collect. So they had two different colored bags of these it says 10 to collect and these are the emoj moj i feel like i asked you guys how to say this last time and then i never looked it up because i have no idea what this is so soft so cute so moj it's a two pack so there's two in each of these and then it does say the same series like it doesn't have a number it just has this little smiley face on there for the series but it's the same exact smiley face on both of these so they're just different colored packages but i believe they're in the same series. This is the Moj Moj also. This says Min. So cute. So soft. So cute. So Moj. The original 70 to collect one pack. So there's only one in here. And then the series is a little heart in a balloon. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's the same exact series on this one. The colors are just different. So I got the pink and the blue. And again, there's just one in these ones, but they do look super cute. Like this is a unicorn cow looking thing. Super cute. Okay. I have picked these up before and my kids love them and they're trying to get the entire, I tried to hold too many in my hand. They're trying to get the entire collection. So hold on, pause. All right. I won't try that again. Let's just switch it up into two hands. Um, so I picked up a couple of each color so they can open them up and try to get that whole collection. Uh, maybe I'll try to take a picture of all of them and post it on my stories here on YouTube or on Instagram and show you guys, but they are super cute. They're just little figures, but they're a little bigger than your typical blind bag figure. And again, my kids just love them. So I picked up a couple of each color. They got the blue, green, pink, purple, and orange. And it's all the same series though, these ones. Uh, series three, mini booze collectibles. They're hand painted. And here's the ones that you can collect on the back. So they have a lot, several duplicates from picking up, from me picking up so many. Uh, but we'll just 
donate those. <laughs> but I did go ahead and pick them up again because again, they want the entire collection. And also within the, the Thai hand painted ones, this is series two, the mini booze, which they're collecting as well. So they had uh, the same colors, the purple, pink, orange, green, and blue, except the boxes are white and just the question mark is the color. So I did get a couple in each of these colors. So hopefully after this little haul, they will have them all. all. Right, and then they had a bunch of these like little balls. So these are perfect for Easter eggs if you guys wanna hold on to them. But they had like tons of different boxes, different kinds, so I tried to pick up just a few of each different kind that I saw. I probably missed a few, who knows, but again, they had a ton. And I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but the reason why I pick so many up at the Dollar Tree when I find them is because if you were to go to Walmart, Target, any store, pretty much every single store carries some sort of blind bag, but they can be $1.97 is probably the cheapest that I've seen them, but they go up to like $10 for like the LOL ones, which I don't think you'll ever find LOL at the Dollar Tree. That would be crazy. They would sell out in an instant. But some blind bags are like $10 a piece, which is mind boggling. That's crazy. So whenever I find them, because my kids enjoy them, I do pick them up. But they had a ton of these little itty bitty like arcade type balls and in different ones. It says, I think they all say two. So they're going to be itty bitty. There's two in each of these. So this says arcade and then there's a forest one, a farm one. I'm trying to keep my head behind so you guys can see them, but also be quick about it. This one is snackins. We've got, <laughs> this one is nomies. Like these are hilarious. Some of these are funny. This one is Nino in Dip. I don't even know what this is. This little arcade series. I have no clue. I feel like these are from like those claw machines that are just a huge waste of money. You never, I mean, sometimes you do get something out of there, but it's, you really, it's a waste of money. Uh, this one is Crazy Kitties. And it looks like all these little kitty cat figures have like crazy hair. They're so cute. And then the last one that I found is Fossil Friends, which looks like little dinosaur characters. Again, I, I have a ton of little blind bags, balls, boxes right now for our non rainy days, but I'm set for like the next holiday that comes up. So another random item that I didn't have with my other random items is we have a birthday coming up. So I did get two different sets of these smaller bags. The Dollar Tree is great for gift bags. So I got this set, which again, these are like 50 cents a piece because it comes with two bags. And then I got this set again, it's the two bags. So the bigger ones are a dollar each, but these ones you get two for a dollar. All right, I did get some school supplies in case the kids do stay home. I am, I don't, I don't know. I am still waiting on that final email from our school to let us know what the school day is going to look like, but right now we're pretty sure we have the choice. As parents, we have the choice. We can send our kid to in-school learning or they are also offering distance learning, like online learning. But with three kids and you have to log on at the same time every single day, I can't do it. That's impossible. I mean, we do have two computers. One of the kids can use my laptop and then we have a desktop, but I have three kids and for me to be able to help each of them at the same time is impossible. So my options right now are straight up homeschooling, like picking our own curriculum and doing that with the kids for this next school year or them going in school, like actually public school in the school. So until I see what that school day is going to look like, I feel like right now we're 80% homeschool. I've already been looking at curriculums and I'll share that with you guys if you are interested, but there's still a little part of me that is like, well, maybe they will go to the school. Well, we're just waiting on that final email to see what the school day is going to look like and all of that good stuff. So I did go ahead and just get pencils because we can always use pencils, but if we do homeschool, they're going to need pencils. And then I got some eraser. So I got this pack, which have all of my son's favorite colors on it. He loves red, blue, and black. So 
I thought this was fun. The, this is a 12 pack. The red and blue striped have just different emojis on them. A rain cloud, a star, a skull and bones, um, a little smiley face, and then it says nope. So I thought that was fun. And then the white ones are the red, blue, and black polka dots. And then these black ones are almost like a chalkboard with little emojis on them as well. So I think he will like using these pencils. And then I found this one, this set for the girls. I thought that was really pretty. Again, it's a 12 count. And these are just like, this looks like a zebra striped with the blue, like a light blue, dark blue, and pink. And then we've got this ombre and this kind of like starry sky galaxy type feel to the pencil. So got some fun pencils for some non-fun workbooks <laughs> for the kids. And then I picked up these erasers. These are scented erasers. And I thought that would be cool. So scented erasers, there's five in here. It's apple, orange, blueberry, strawberry, and grape scents. It does say erases clean. I was looking at this and I was like, I wonder if it leaves like the color on the paper, but it says erase is clean, so we're going to try them out, but I thought the fact that they were smelly, that the kids would get a kick out of that. Then I got just a few things in the kitchen department. I'm always looking at their cups. I probably have way too many, more than I need, <laughs> but my kids love them, and I like to give them these cups versus our glass cups, just because they are still on the younger side, and they're rough with their stuff. I mean glass breaks plastic doesn't if they spill it's no big deal it's an easy cleanup whereas if it was a glass cup and they spilt it it's a little bit more dangerous so anyway i picked up these two these were new cups that we do not own this is another emoji cup we have several of these and they're all different so i like to pick these up and then this one is trolls the new one the world tour so i did go ahead and pick that one up as well so these two things my husband picked up when he's washing dishes he likes to use these on the hard like if I use the instant pot or the crock pot and I don't use a liner in the crock pot I don't use liners in the instant pot um, but if there's like something really stuck on he really likes these Brillo basics for that they do great it also says you can use them on grills and stuff it has a picture of the oven like to clean the inside of the oven we haven't used it for the oven or anything like that but he does like to use these for the hard stuck on stuff on dishes Whereas I'm one of those people that like to let the dishwasher do the work first. I'll rinse it off and try to scrub it and then I'll stick it in the dishwasher. <laughs> if the dishwasher doesn't get it off, then I will hand wash it if I need to. But yeah, he, he actually, I think he enjoys hand washing dishes, uh, whereas I do not. So then he picked this up. I'm not quite sure why exactly he wanted this. I feel like we have a bunch of little kitchen appliances, but he wanted a scraper. So he picked this up. This is Cooking Concepts Chopper slash Scraper. It does say dishwasher safe and it does have a little, some measurements on the bottom there. So he picked this up and then I have been looking for these forever and these have been out, I think last year they made their like debut and everybody was going bonkers for them and I never found them. I just found them. I am so excited because these are great for meal prepping when you're doing sandwiches or hamburgers, which I don't prep hamburgers a lot, but as far as sandwiches and pancakes and stuff, you can put this in between the pancakes and they will not stick in the freezer. It also on the back, it says it's great for chocolates, which is really cool. So it says great for candy, taffy and chocolate makers. Perfect for wrapping and separating candies if you were to make your own taffy. So I just thought that was great. And there's a hundred in these. I did go ahead and pick up two, just in case I never see them again. So I've got 200 little sheets to use. Okay, and then my last bag, speaking of kitchen, this is all, I'm pretty sure, food. So sometimes I find a lot of really good things that I think we would enjoy, and other times I don't even go into the food section. It just depends on my mood. But this time I found some cute, cute I mean these are cute but some fun items for the kids and some items that I like to have on hand so first up are these lip pops lollipops I picked these up before and they were animals and my kids got a kick out of them these ones are hashtag selfie which I thought was so fun so it says it doesn't tell you exactly what you get it just says includes a selection of 
watermelon, blue raspberry, strawberry, green apple. And then you can see that it's the different faces. So on the back, it looks like, like a, it's supposed to be a unicorn snout or like a horse face mermaid lips a dinosaur and some kind of animal is that a sloth maybe i'm not sure but that looks so funny oh i didn't even notice here it says hashtag magical hashtag sleepy totally a sloth hashtag pearly and then hashtag fiery on the front there so i know i know my kids are going to get a kick out of that so cute and my new guilty pleasure is taffy I got the taffy from Trader Joe's. I got a bag to keep here at the house and a bag for my mom. And I have this little clear candy jar on our island in the kitchen that I like to keep treats for that the kids can't reach. So they have to ask me for them. But typically I just put in like sweet treats for me if I have like a little sweet tooth and I want something small. And I have been loving taffy. So I found these two at the Dollar Tree. I've never picked these up before, so I don't know if they taste good. So I did go ahead and pick these up to try out. These are the watermelon taffies. And then this one is creamsicle. So definitely all the summer vibes in those two flavors, but I got these to put in my little candy jar. And then another thing that I love that I used to pick up all the time, but now I don't find them all the time, but I saw them and I haven't gotten them lately. So I went ahead and picked them up. And these are the popcorners in the white cheddar. My favorite flavor. I love these like as a side to lunch or just a quick little snack. So yummy. And speaking of yummy, I picked up two things for the kids. I don't know if they're going to like them, but I figured for a dollar, I would pick them up and it would be something different to try. They did not like the last time I picked up was it Epic Crunch Goldfish or something like that? They did not like those. I tried one, I wasn't a fan either. These ones are veggie, so I don't know. <laughs> they do look more like the typical, your average original goldfish, uh, but it says veggie yum. A carrot goodness baked in with a great taste you expect from goldfish, what's not to love? So it says they have other flavors, a tomato one. The carrot was the only one I saw at the Dollar Tree and you can see, it has like a little carrot figure and the goldfish so we'll see if the kids like that but i did go ahead and pick that up and it is in a resealable bag which i really like fun treat that i found i have no idea how these are going to taste i am not a huge fan of sour candy my kids and my husband however love it Paige loves sour patch kids also she's not going to be able to enjoy this because i'm pretty sure it has milk in here yes this has milk in it so she can't eat this or she doesn't want to eat this but these are limited edition chips ahoy with sour patch kids so instead of the chocolate chips i think the chocolate chips are like flavored like sour patch maybe so i got four packs one for each of my three younger kids and then one for my husband because like i said he loves sour candies as well so i don't know how that's going to taste but i saw them and i was like oh that's interesting so i went ahead and picked that up for a fun treat for them so this is a repeat buy i picked these up quite a while ago and they were so easy to make and super yummy so i did go ahead and pick up two more boxes just to keep in the pantry for a quick easy um, side to a dinner one night each box makes four biscuits so if you are a smaller family one box will be just fine but since we have seven people in our house we'll six that will eat these because they're cheesy. So my oldest daughter does love a vegan lifestyle, so she won't eat these, but for the rest of us, the two boxes should work out great. But these are just a cheesy garlic biscuit mix by Enticingly Easy. They had a cheesecake mix as well. I've never picked that one up before, but I like this type of thing. Just a quick little biscuit to have on the side of dinner. My younger three kids love any type of bread product for sure. So anytime we have anything like this with dinner, they devour it. All right, and then I found some new things that I thought I would pick up to try. The first off being these Mio vitamins. So I've seen people haul boxes with, I think, 10 in it. Both Dollar Trees that I went to only had this one box with a five in it, and I don't know what the flavor is on the 10 packet. But I thought I would go ahead and pick this up just to help. I am not a huge fan of regular water whether it be filtered water or tap water, any of that. I like to have some kind of flavor to get the water in my system or it be sparkling or mineral. That's my go-to for my water consumption. 
So finding these for a dollar, I thought was a great deal. Again, these are Mio Vitamins. It says vitamins A, C, and D from real fruits and vegetables. And this is the mango pineapple flavor. And there's five on the go packets that you just mix in with your water. So I did go ahead and pick up this to give that a try. Then I picked up, I haven't used it yet, but the McCormick bourbon chicken little sauce packet I picked up the last time. And this time they had a beef stew packet and then they had this one. I didn't pick up the beef stew because I still have that bourbon chicken one, but I did pick this one up. I thought this would be interesting to try. And this is a Grillmates Steakhouse Burgers sock, Sauce Mix-Ins Southwest Chipotle. I think my husband is really going to enjoy that, but you just mix this in with your hamburger meat for hamburgers. So I thought that would be neat to try and definitely, I mean, hamburgers, hot dogs, watermelon, creamsicle, again, all the summer feels. All right, something I picked up for my husband, he loves anything sriracha. He puts it on a lot of different items. He has it on the table for dinner at least half the week, depending on what we're having. So I saw this sriracha salt. Now, do I need another seasoning in my pantry? No, I have so many, but I use them all like various times, you know? So I don't know. I just saw this sriracha salt and I picked it up for a dollar. That's a great deal for seasoning. You can get them like the Walmart brand for 98 cents, or you can get the more expensive ones for like three, $4. So I feel like a dollar is a great deal. So I did go ahead and pick that up for him to try and see if he likes that. All right, you guys, that is my Dollar Tree haul. If you enjoy seeing what I pick up from the Dollar Tree each month, give this video a big thumbs up. That lets me know and I continue sharing with you guys. So I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.